now that there is a lot of um, things, a lot of changes going on with the world due to the COVID-19, and now we're undergoing the movement control order for the MCO. So today, mm -hmm. particularly, my interview will be um, regarding the future of internships. So, you know, interns, they are the future generation. So um, I'm sure there's a lot of students right now uh, or it, probably in the near future that are looking for like attachment programs. So you are the general manager in Holiday Inn Express Kuala Lumpur. But um, I believe that during the movement control order, um, everyone kind of had to stop for a bit. Like the, the sector had to uh, shut down for like a, nearly two months until the CMCO, until it slowly um, reopened. So what about the interns that have been uh, attached to the company previously? Did, did, they, did the program just stop for a bit or is there going to be um, maybe like they stop for now and then later they're going to continue again? Ha please explain. Okay, um, so uh, thankfully uh, when the COVID-19 actually started, we haven't got any active interns uh, in the hotels. Okay. Um, that is partly due to the uh, periods where the university is going back to school and not having that internship uh, break. So, it, so that's why uh, during the, the COVID-19 or during this MCO, we, we initially do not have active interns uh, in the hotel. So that's why uh, we, we don't have them. Um, so I guess uh, you're quite right with the situation like this. Um, you know, most hotels close down because it's lack of business and stuff. Um, for my hotels, we still continue trading. Um, although, you know, we're looking at their very little rooms uh, in terms of Occupy. So our hotels is still opening and active. So um, hypothetically, if there's an active interns in hotels, depending on the um, conditions of the MCO, um, this intern may be, may, be, may be taking a break or they may continue. It uh, really depends on their job scope we are during the internship. I believe for um, the, say, job scope as like a hotel management, um, I'm sure that the interns are required to be located on site during their attachment programs. So um, say for the near future, if uh, the lockdown has been eased even more and then students are allowed to go or we actually don't know, but then there's still going to be a threat of COVID-19. So what, yeah. what are your suggestions and what is the plan for Holiday Inn to tackle this um, issue? And um, we operate by uh, guidelines and obviously laws and also um, our safety of everyone that's uh, within the hotels. Um, interns or our team and our guests are absolutely important mm -hmm. i guess if uh, there is a need uh, for a you know internship projects then we may need to look at following the guidelines issued by the government or the authorities mm -hmm. um, and making sure that you know we do not put anyone at risk um, but uh, having said that uh, it's also on the other hand whether or not the interns are comfortable to be on site Mm -hmm. um, although we make sure that you know every uh, safety and uh, of our students, of the interns or our team and our guests are being uh, looked after. So my my take is that obviously uh, the least people uh, within the confined space of hotels uh, that would be better because of the social distancing. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess the internship uh, another option for that would potentially be doing some project works uh, rather than the on-site. Um, when are we going to get back to normal? I, I'm not sure. Um, but what's, what's normal is going to look like uh, and how many months from now? Uh, a lot of uh, talks and a lot of um, suggestions and a lot of discussions center around when would, the, when would our lives be back to normal? Mm -hmm. uh, I th think that's, that's absolutely the key questions depending on um, how, how normal uh, would be so uh, in in terms of interns I would suggest then um, let's look at theory where you could uh, stay at campus uh, and you know going to the online meeting like this mm -hmm. or emails and stuff and doing some project works because 
uh, internship could be uh, theory, it could be physical. So, um, like I said, you know, uh, they may be uh, back to normal as soon as uh, we want it in the next two months, three months. Um, but I think it's about the looking after the safeties uh, and following the guidelines on social distancing is, uh, is definitely important. Definitely. So I have just one more question for you, um, Mr. Lai. Um, you did mention about social distancing. Uh, of course, we all know that that's really important in, in these times of a pandemic. So let's say when everything opens up again and then students are rushing to conduct their internships because sometimes we know that um, a lot of universities have time time frames or timelines when uh, these students should be attached and such not. And sometimes mm -hmm. it's in the mid-year, so we're approaching the mid-year. Um, so like, what if a lot of students suddenly crowd like a company at once, how will you be accepting that or how, will, how is your reaction to that? Yeah. Um, at the normal circumstances, when we have an internship uh, for the hotels, we usually be selecting um, just, a, just a handful or less than a handful. It really depends on the size of the hotels and complexity of the hotels. Um, and I, I depending on you know, what the interns is willing to learn or wanting to learn or which field it is. So um, it, it, it's come down to uh, selecting the field rather than uh, having you know, everyone on board. Um, having you know at this point in time um, you know our team uh, uh, has got less tasks to do uh, mm -hmm. there are teams uh, there are, there may be hotels in other hotels where they close down that you know uh, the employees are being uh, go on long leave um, mm -hmm. so there may not be enough uh, tasks or things to learn I suppose so um, suggestion that I have as as an industry player would be work with the universities and see, you know what, um, how could they, uh, how could the uh, university relax the rules? Um, I know that there's always catch up to do, um, but you know, most students hasn't gone to class for a long time and going on virtual class. So uh, mm -hmm. we definitely wanted to try to make sure that we limit uh, the number of interns in hotels, um, just so that uh, the guidelines are adhered to and social distancing are being practiced. Um, so, it, it's not about, um, for me, it's the industry working with the institu institution, right? Mm -hmm. um, to make sure that, hey, we know that, that you know, um, say, a thousand, two thousand students that really need to complete the internship in a given time frame, um, but, you know, the vacancy may be just 500. So, I think it's about working uh, with the institution on limiting um, the number of internship uh, or number of interns in a hotel um, so that we don't put everyone at risk. Uh, because I think it's important that the industry works with the institution mm -hmm. and you know, what's normal is going to be look like. You know, normally you will have internship from say um, uh, August, September, October, but uh, as it is now, our life is not normal anymore. So nope. we need to find how the normal looks like and uh, just so that everyone is looked after the safety uh, and the security of our people uh, and interns uh, and how the industry are playing is this important. So I think it's about finding the new normal, what this new normal looks like for internship. I, I think that's, um, that's a question that we need to work on and that uh, we need to find a solution for that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Definitely. This is um, the question for everyone, but only time will tell what it will look like and how it will be. So um, actually, I just have one last question out of curiosity. So I believe that Holiday Inn Express is currently um, operating as a, a yes. quarantine center. Am I right? I'm not too sure. But um, yeah, how is the situation like if, 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 if it is a quarantine center? How has it been uh, for okay. the past week? Sure. So um, I think that's um, either misunderstanding or some clarification needed. Um, mm -hmm. In the in the current situation with the pandemic, there's two groups of uh, people in Malaysia with in regards to the quarantine. So there's also two types of quarantine center. So mm -hmm. um, quarantine stand center um, more uh, 
confined and more uh, hands needed because the quarantine center are housing those uh, people under investigation, which uh -huh. just means that uh, they may show some form of symptoms about COVID-19. So they need to be looked after more regularly and more constantly. So they will be housed at the quarantine center mm -hmm. for the hotels. We are the quarantine station. Ah. Um, so that's a different. The quarantine stations are for people under surveillance. So okay. which means that um, these uh, guests that we have that returns uh, to Malaysia, mm -hmm. um, they would not have shown any symptoms. So they technically are healthy, normal uh, person. But because of the standard operating procedures, we need to uh, put them under surveillance for a period of 14 days. Mm -hmm. So um, Helena Express Kuala Lumpur City Attendance is, is a quarantine station housing a person under surveillance. So um, they, they are perfectly healthy. I mean, they, uh, the group of them, we have got over 300 rooms. Um, we are in the WhatsApp chat group and they, they are very upbeat. Uh, they're enjoying their stay. Um, I think they, they look forward to meals uh, time. We engage them with some uh, tasks, some games for them to play. Uh, and yes, yeah, so so far so good. Uh, you know, we, we give them some challenges, and says, you know what, download this and have a lip sync uh, competition, or guess uh, a quiz, and whoever that gets the answer quickest will be rewarded with uh, something extra. Um, so the authorities are on site helping helping the hotels and helping the hotel team to to look after uh, this guest or this Malaysian. Um, so it, it, in terms of, you may see that, you know, hotels is quite busy with, you know, 90% occupancy or 90 percent but then uh, they are not allowed to be out of the room just for their safety and safety of everyone. Mm -hmm. um, and working with the authority to provide uh, all the SOPs and provide all the protections that we have just to make sure that everyone are being kept safe uh, and everyone's uh, engaged each other so that at least, you know, what they don't get bored. Um, Trying to stay in a hotel room for 14 days is, you know, not fun. But yes, what time. we're trying to do is to, yeah, what, what we're trying to do is give them a task, you know, it looks as, um, you know, let's do this and share it, uh, you know, on your social media and sort of by engagement, getting their, their mental health uh, in check. Mm -hmm. um, so, so far, so good. Um, there isn't any uh, dramas um, or hotels is operating uh, as usual. From the outside, you may look um, pretty strict and you know taunting with tapes uh, around there and stuff. But in, inside, that that isn't much of an issue. Well, that's really good to know. Um, that especially that they are well taken care of. And um, thank you very much for all of that because it's very insightful. And uh, yeah, I hope that um, you stay safe, including all of the staff and all of the Malaysians in. Holiday in Express. Thank you very much, Mr. Lai, and Thank yeah, you, have Soraya. a great day. Thank you. You too. Bye bye.